Hi, I'm Jaime Gutierrez with the Fox Valley Voice. Today we're at the historic Camp Hanna Factory building in Batavia, the northwest corner of Fabian and Route 31. Uh, the Camp Hanna building was built in 1936 for the Camp Hanna Company. They manufactured hand lotion and other cosmetics and beauty products uh, all the way up through the mid-70s. In 1979 it was added to the National Register of Historic Places. but. That's not why we're here specifically today. Today we are here to visit another company that has taken, uh, taken their spot here in the Campana building. It's called All Dressed Up Costumes, and we're going to go inside and take a look. So come on along. Yeehaw! We're all dressed up on the second floor of the Campana factory building. Got the Doctor Who police box here. Well, hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. Costumes. Well, hi. Thank you. And where are we? All dressed up costumes. And uh, what's the address? That's 901 North Batavia Avenue in Batavia, Illinois. Excellent. And what's your name? I'm Laura. And what's your name? I'm Carly. It's nice to meet you. Um, we are here to take a tour. Do you think uh, you think you can help us out with that? Sure. We can definitely give you the tour. All right. Well, thank you, Laura. What are we looking at here? the opening area. Um, this is where people can try things on in our dressing rooms, which are also funly decorated. Um, the couch is for people that are waiting for those people trying on things. <laughs> okay. Um, we thought it would be nice to have a seating area. Um, the shop's kind of organized I mean, by... look at this place. It yeah. is, um, there is a lot going on in here. <laughs> yeah, it's a little overwhelming. I've had people come in before and they're just like, they stop for a minute and sort of stare and they glaze over a little bit and I'm like, can I help you? Because I, I realize there's a lot to take in here. <laughs> yes, um, I mean, I'm, right away, I'm, I'm looking at these crazy platform shoes with the zebra print on them. Yes, there's, they have dice in the, in the heels as well, you know. Oh, could we see that real quick? Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dice. Oh, look, can you get a shot of that? <laughs> Very high you could come up with a fun game. I actually had a mother and a son in here the other day, and they were playing with the shoes, to, trying to get the dice to roll a certain number. And I was like, "Okay, I didn't. Uh, there's a new pastime now. <laughs> They're well, not just for wearing." So what are we gonna? I mean, this is a little bit overwhelming, like you said. Should we just take it aisle by aisle and see yeah. what we've got going on here? Yeah, we'll start with the um, the very first aisle here, which is the 50s. Most of the shop on the one side is organized by era, and then the other side is kind of by section. Okay. So this is the 50s. It's um, your poodle skirt, sock hop kind of thing. All right. So like, if you wanted to be a, a someone from Greece. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. That would be this section right here. Um, it continues on. Uh, and then as we turn this way, we'll go down the middle. That'll help us out. Yes, um, all right. Let's this, do that. This one here is the 30s and 40s. So 30s and 40s is the next aisle. It's kind of going to go descending. The very back is the is biblical. So we're going to go through the eras as we as we walk. It's kind of like a history lesson. Yeah, it's like going back in time as you walk through the costumes. It's very cool. So um, this is your glamorous 40s, 30s, Depression era stuff on the other side. Um, and ab up above we have a lot of storage. So you'll see a lot of random stuff hanging out up there. But but this is basically 30s and 40s. The next one, as we walk, we're walking, we're talking. We're walking, we're walking, we're, walking, we're stopping. This is the 20s aisle. Um, so this is that drop waisted, um, Great Gatsby, that sort of fun, fabulous era. This is my aisle. Yes. I would live in this aisle if I could. <laughs> this is the aisle. So Bugle beads and sparkles. You've got the, the, the high waist pants and mm -hmm. the suspenders and stuff like that? Yep, all that stuff. A lot of accessories can be found outside of the aisles, down the middle here. And we have a whole wall full of all kinds of crazy accessories. So we start with the costume, and then we'll end up giving you the, the gloves, the hat, the beads, that, that whole thing. So depending on the area you're going for. All right. <laughs> The next one here, this is kind of uh, more 1910, turn of the century kind of stuff, big bandstand, music band, that's this this whole aisle. You'll see a lot of musical comedy, which is basically our way of saying um, something that we made to look historical, but in a really funny color. All right, um, so, so yeah, what do we... Are, these are not the kind of colors you would normally see, um, but they are, in fact, the right style. But we call it musical comedy because a lot of things like Music Man or Carousel... Um, Oklahoma, they're all bright, colorful. It's a little bit exaggerated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very much exaggerated. So you'll see a lot of that. I have people come in for historical things and they're like, this isn't quite what I thought it would be. And we're like, well, let's keep going to the more normal colors over there. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a whole lot of mixed up in here for the turn of the century, but it's all 
period appropriate. Um, this one here is kind of like uh, 1900s, 1990s. Um, it kind of goes into Dickens there. 1890s. Yeah, 1890s or Dickens. Thank you. I don't know where I am. You know what? You could have my job. I'm going to go home. Um, <laughs> this is I don't think I could. Uh, I couldn't make that vest work. You, you own that. Yeah, that's yours. Even, there's only one Jingle Bell, but I'm still rocking it. Um, <laughs> this is all the bustle stuff. So Dickens. This is very good for Christmas Carol right now. Do the bustle. Um, do the bustle. Da, da, da. Yeah. Um, every day we're ruffling here. <laughs> so a couple of jokes on the tour. But um, um, go home, folks. I didn't bring my drummer with me, so we just... Dang, we can't, uh, can't get a drum thing going. Um, this is kind of this little section. It's interesting because we have random bits where we've kind of been like, well, this doesn't really fit anywhere else, so we're going to put it in this aisle. Um, these are like the Gone with the Wind um, Southern Belle dresses kind of right there. Can you deliver the Gone with the Wind line for us? Um, Frankly, my dear. Frank, well, I was going to say there's several. I was going to say narrow it down a little. Actually, that's the guy. Um, no, the <laughs> yeah. one at the very end, right? She says... With God as my witness, I shall never go hungry again. Right? And scene. This is going to be more like your western, on the prairie, um, saloon girls. We do a lot of stuff in this aisle for Halloween. It's a really fun one. Um, it's kind of more calico-y stuff. Um, suede, tassels, Indians. That's this place right here. All right. Uh, this next one's more like... Um, oh, there's Carly. Here's Carly. Hi, She's Carly. Working away. Working away. <laughs> um, this is going to be where you're going to find pirates, um, Marie Antoinette. Nice. You know what a uh, pirate's favorite letter is? R. I. Oh. <laughs> No, no see, you know, you know what? <laughs> that joke works both ways because if you would have said I, then I would have said R. So I, okay. you, there's no way you can win. I, I feel like that's okay. That's acceptable. It's a good joke. I set you up. You set me up. I've been set up. All right, this is the medieval aisle, Renaissance. Um, currently, we have some bits for Spamalot right here that have been kind of hanging out in here for a while. Uh, we just recently built that show. It's going to be big. Just doing it. Um, so, you know, there's again here we have an example of the exaggerated colors that aren't really the period, but they are the right style. This is for things like um, Once Upon a Mattress, those kind of kooky, fun uh, moments in the show. I use them for the silly girls in Beauty and the Beast a lot too. That's just needs to be bright and ribbon y, fun. We call them the ribbon dresses. Um, but yeah, so this, this section here you'll, you'll see is just totally not the right colors that you would think of. Um, but that's kind of hanging out in here. And then we have the more real period uh, appropriate colors and stuff. Shakespeare will be in the style. Jester's up above. Oh, <laughs> Shakespeare, please don't even get me started. Well, we have I... made our way to the back of the shop now. Um, this side is more Roman. Um, we got Egyptian in the middle. The back there is the Arabic genies, harem girls. On the other side, it's a lot of biblical, um, Mary, Jesus, Joseph, the wise men, that sort of thing. Um, and then in the middle here, we've kind of put our priests and our um, pastors and nuns and things because it kind of kind of segues into the biblical. We think it works. It's working for us. Um, and then we go to this side of the shop. All right, th is... So that's only half the shop that we've yeah, seen. That's just half. And I mean, I, and I didn't even go with the up above stuff. Not, not I mean, we got kilts and it's just, we've we just built upward. <laughs> There's not quite enough uh, square footage, so we just kept going upward. <laughs> um, this side is the army stuff. So it's pretty much anything from several different eras. It's not as um, organized by time so much it is by type at this point. So we've got Navy, Army, um, the sailors are over there, that sort of thing. Uh, and then doing All right. This way. <laughs> and now uh, on your left, you will find the... Halloween aisle, as we kind of like to call it. It's the classic stuff you'll find. Um, princesses, mermaids, there's vampires and witches, prisoners, nurses, doctors, superheroes, hobos, clowns, all that sort of stuff that you're going to think of right away when you think Halloween. Okay. Um, yeah, hobo is really hobo. the only, my go-to costume. Go, go right to hobo. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know why? Because I really don't have to dress up all that much <laughs> to pull that it. one off. Yeah, I got that one down. Already in your closet. <laughs> um, so this one's the show aisle, even though they kind of are all show aisles in a way. Um, this one's kind of got some of the classic shows like uh, Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland, Midsummer Night's Dream. There's the Shakespeare. Told you it was coming back. Um, <laughs> this is uh, Into the Woods, which is a very fairy tale show if you've never seen it. Um, and Seussical up above, of course. So this is kind of just our, the things we have like sets of kind of hang out in this aisle. Okay, um, because 
shows they, they'll yeah. they're produced several times and you've already got everything ready to go. After a while, people people basically get um, an idea in their head of what the show is supposed to look like. Broadway does it a certain way, and then everybody kind of wants to do it that way. Sometimes we get the people that are more creative or you know want to do it differently. They're bored with the the way everybody's doing it, um, and then we get really like fun and we go out and do something totally new. Like we did a steampunk Alice in Wonderland for West Aurora High School recently. That nice. Was, I think I saw that in the paper. It was very fun. That was I like doing the really unique stuff it gets more creative um, but we do have the what you would expect like Wizard of Oz it's green it's sparkly it's Wizard of Oz um, so we do have a place for those things hiding in that aisle uh, this aisle is um, basically the undergarments the dance wear it's kind of um, bloomers petticoats all the foofiness I see London I see France <laughs> A little bit of frilly Let's underpants. Yes. <laughs> um, there's also, for some reason, maids. That, like Sometimes we get a little bit creative with where we put our stuff. We're like, this works here. We're going to put it there. So the maids are hiding in here. I, it kind of works because the aprons are right there. So maids, aprons, you know. Um, it works for us. Maids of milking? Maids of milking. Well, we have a cow, so... It's, it's hiding over there. Anymore. Oh, the cow is not on the you, tour? You were not prepared for me to tell you I have a cow. <laughs> um, anyway, um, the dance wear is up above, so Dancing with the Stars, stuff like that, Nutcracker, things like that, hiding up there. Okay. Um, like I said, on the end caps, we do have all, a lot of the accessories, so you can see bow ties and cravats from the more... Um, oh, I like how you say era. that. Cravat. Cravat, also. You can say it however you'd like. Ascot. Um, oh, this is a family show. You need, to have, you need to have an accent when you say it, or it's just not, it's not right. It's not right. Um, this is the ethnic aisle. So it's kind of all um, the Mexican, folklorical, um, Hawaiian stuff down there. We've got German, the Germans, and um, these are like Asian, Siamese, um, the King and I kind of stuff. So we kind of group that all together in here. It's kind of like a little trip. Like it's a small world after all. There, there you go. Down that aisle. This is the pants aisle. <laughs> so, ah, like I yes. Said, Where are, are my on, pants? More, more my type on this side, like I said. Um, this is uh, basically all the slacks you could ever want in any color under the sun. <laughs> right there. And then also sports up above. Like I said, a little bit odd, but... It worked for us there. <laughs> All right. So if I if I need you to cut me some slack, then this is where I, we would go. I could take you to that aisle, yes. Right. Um, this is the tux aisle. So this is all the tuxedos, um, regular tailcoats, cutaways, all the different eras, um, the 60s ones. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> Ooh. There's the pants that go with them, and we also have the tux shirts. So it's kind of like this This aisle right here is singularly, you can do the whole outfit, like right in the aisle. And you've, you've pr you have the shirts with the ruffles yeah. on them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually the next aisle over. You thought we were done, but there is a whole other side. Um, Gosh. It keeps going. Uh, you need a, uh, a a bus, you know, a little, yeah. you know, like, like I should a, have a golf cart. I yes, really should. there you go. I'm putting in for that. That's that's going on the list. Um, ties are hanging on the ends here. This is the kind of like suit aisle in a way. It's uh, suit shirts, um, abandoned suit coats that aren't necessarily any specific era. Um, there's a whole bunch up above that are mismatched. They're missing their pants. The ones below have their pants. Uh, it's, a, it's a constant struggle to find the pants that match the suit coat. <laughs> and then if it's a three-piece with the vest, oh, no, forget about it. So um, the vests are on this side. Again, it's, it's kind of like, you know, your suit men's wear aisle. Mm -hmm. um, How about zoot suits? You got some zoot suits here? We do have those. Those would be in the 20s aisle. Um, there's also some very interesting ones kind of kind of hiding in the 80s aisle depending on which era you're going for. <laughs> Fashion's very repeating. It's, it's an interesting thing. We can we can take an 80s blouse and pull the uh, shoulder pads out of it and it looks like a 40s blouse all of a sudden because they took it and they went, you know what, I'm going to go with this 40s aesthetic even though it's the 80s and it's designing women. We're going to put that on there. So, so you get away with a lot of that stuff. So uh, there's zoot suits kind of mixed in because they're they can be the 20s they can be the 80s they can be the 40s it depends on your definition of zoot suit and um you know what you're going for really loud stripey or just the same. it has a lot to do with the hairstyle as well yes yes it does <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, this is the little kids rack right here oh specific to the to the kiddos we've got princesses and little prince and knights and pirates and little mermaids and fairies so um, we do have people come in randomly in a frantic panic. My child needs a costume now. And I'm like, well. Is that what they sound like? Yes, they do. Well, not all of them. So, some of them. I feel like that's, that's how I'm remembering it. Um, it's, it's coming back to me like that right now. But yeah, this is all the fun. Look, we have a child now. Yes, this is, this is actually my child, Ruby. Hi. Hey, Ruby. Hey, Rubes. Hi. Are you having fun looking at all the costumes? Yeah. 
You gonna try one on? Yeah. You already have some wings on here. Oh. Okay, good talking to you. <laughs> All right, Laura, I see a box here that is very concerning to me. Can we get a shot of this? <laughs> right over here. Um, What's this all about? So um, this is something we, we do have a little bit of, of an issue with sometimes. Um, when you're a costume shop, there are some shows out there with some subject matter that's not exactly um, PC, I guess you could say. And we have to provide them with the costume pieces. So we do have things like Nazi armbands. We have KKK guys in the back. Um, it's always a struggle at Halloween. We have to make sure people don't rent them. They're not something you rent to go to a party in. It's just not okay. Um, That's a good policy. Yeah, we, we avoid things like um, our police officers, our firemen outfits, because they're real, like, look authentic, and you can go out and do bad things. So we avoid that, <clears throat> just saying. Uh, Maybe we should be hiding this in the back room, though. We, like, want to put, we want to put, like, a little sign over <laughs> there. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's a little happy face over that. We don't want to see it. Uh, but, yeah, we do have to have historically accurate things for things like Sound of Music, um, and the, even the producers, which is funny and sparkly, but it's still Nazi armbands. They're just sparkly and Nazi armbands. So it's kind of hard. People see them and they're like, oh, it's going to be like so funny, bro. We're going to be Nazis at the bar. Not funny. Not as funny as you'd think. At, at least not from this establishment. No, not coming from here. <laughs> you know what? Let's, uh, let's steer you in a different direction. Um, yeah. This is the great and powerful accessory wall. Um, it's currently a little bit of a mess, but it's a lot better than from at Halloween. We have a problem where people are just like, I want to touch the things. And then it all ends up on the floor. <laughs> so it's gotten better. Um, it's kind of organized by like uh, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So um, <laughs> that's kind of how we keep track of where the, the items go. But yeah, it's, it's a crazy, there's cow masks, uh, devil and angels, just, you know, all the little bits and bobbles you might need. Assorted cuffs. <laughs> so Cuffs are important. Wall of accessories. Yes. What else we got going on um, here? My this, good, it just goes on forever. We're going to the last little chunk over here, um, which is kind of the leftover eras that are getting closer to more modern. So we kind of like stuck them over here. And you're going to notice there's a little bit of a janky moment going on here. It goes 60s and 70s ladies, and then in the middle it's the 80s, and then it's 60s and 70s men. <laughs> Somehow we were just like, I feel like the 80s needs to be like truncated by the 60s and 70s or it's going to get out. <laughs> so that's kind of how we've got this back corner going. Um, we do have some random things, of course, up above. Like I, like I said before, there's the jeans, um, random sets of things. We have a bajillion suit coats up there that are all matching, the matchy-matchy set. <laughs> These are belts and things. Um, more for the 50s, like the cinch belts, and then there's also more of the 60s and 70s. It's just kind of all mixed together. Some flower child stuff. Mm -hmm. Definitely flower power going on there. Um, this is one of our put-away racks. <laughs> oh, well, right hold on there. a second. I'll meet you on the other side. This out of here. There we go. Nobody look at it. Nobody. <laughs> um, so this is the 80s aisle. Uh, you can kind of tell just by looking at it. The shiny lame, um, there's sparkles, there's satins that shouldn't be made into dresses that are, um, <laughs> the poofy shoulders, there's cats up above there because we thought it made sense. You know, if you've seen cats, it's very 80s. Um, got like arm, leg warmers on and they're dancing. Um, People love that show though. It's a great show. We love that show. I love, I love the costumes for the show. It's just, it's just, it looks like it fits here in the, it's at home in the 80s, you know. Um, so that's kind of hanging out up there. There's the 60s and 70s men. This way, now going this way. Um, this is where you'll find those ruffle shirts you're looking for. Ah, uh, yes, yes, the ruffle shirts. Po yeah. uh, you got a, a poofy shirt? Yeah, we got some poofy shirts. Poofy shirt. Yeah, there's, and if you want to wear your own shirt, we have ruffles for your shirt. <laughs> so you can always just add that on. Chest. I might become a regular here. <laughs> um, these are all the weird, crazy patterns, 60s, 70s shirts, um, the funny ones that you see. There, oh, there goes my pocket again. Um, chestnuts are roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Oh, musical interlude. Yes, that's a and great. Now for a musical interlude. <laughs> um, so this is the shirts with the ruffles already on them. Um, some of them are just plain tuck shirts, but they're more. They've got the exaggerated collars from the '60s and '70s, the big wing collars. Um, so yeah, that's these guys. Here's some more tuxedos that are more like really. 
screaming 60s and 70s. Like a John Travolta kind yeah. of a thing? Yeah, definitely. Kind of John Travolta. We've got the, the kind of the dumb and dumber sort of suit thing. We don't have the orange one. <laughs> Everybody's like, do you have the orange one? You got to no. get the orange one. We need to dye a white one orange, and then we're good. <laughs> we'll just, you know, we'll make it work. But we have, as you can see, pretty much every size of the powder blue you could possibly want. <laughs> um, and then some. Uh, there's also a band up above hiding up there. But yeah, and then this side is kind of the more 60s, 70s plaid, um, bad polyester. Mr. Brady, I would yeah. think this is what his closet yeah. would look like. This would be the Brady area or anything from that 70s show. There's like the leisure suits, the polyester leisure suits hanging out over here. Pants down below. We we used to have um, this dance that would come in. It was, um, I can't remember the school, but it was a high school in the area and the boys would always come in, the seniors did for the turnabout dance. They were like 60s, 70s. And they would take random plaid jackets with random plaid pants and the giant f shoes with the dice in them and big old afros. It was hilarious. Um, so, yeah, there's there's no need to match here. <laughs> Apparently not. I almost prefer that. Yeah. It's more fun, more color options going on there. Yeah. So, um, again, we have a lot of accessories hanging on the outcaps. Um, the cummerbunds um, are a lovely, a lovely accoutrement to any suit um, or tux. Oh, look at this, this thing. Cats. This, is, this is a cat's moment going on there. Um, these racks that are floating around are our put-away racks. Um, we try to get things back and cleaned and back in their correct aisles. Um, so you'll see little racks floating around. Sometimes they have tags all over them for shows. But Do you, do you have any racks that you call the burn racks, uh, things that you don't ever want to see again? We actually sold those. Um, we have a dusty trunk sale every once in a while. Um, we never know when we're going to do one. It's just like the boss wakes up one day and is like, <gasps> Let's get rid of all this stuff. Um, so it's basically randomly we'll have them. We had one just before Halloween this year. Um, it was on the other side of the building, and we just kind of took over the whole space and sold off all the silly, weird, janky kind of stuff that's not so much anymore that people are like, I can take this, and I can make this into something fabulous. So And you're like, you okay, know, have at it. it. You can have it. <laughs> um, boxes of weird hats and things. So, you know, um, in throughout the many years, we end up with a lot of weird stuff, um, whether it be something we created and then it just kind of got eh, or something someone donated that we're like, thanks, that's awesome. And we can't quite use it, but someone's going to love it. <laughs> um, I mean, we do use a lot of stuff people donate, um, and we are very thankful. We'd like to thank our donators. Um, <laughs> but it's just... After a while, we haven't got the space. So we have like a dusty trunk sale, and we sell off all the crazy stuff, stuff we have too much of. Maybe those powder blue tuxedos will be next. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we do, have, we do have a burn rack slowly accumulate throughout the year, and then we sell it off. Okay, Laura, um, so is that pretty much the That's tour? I mean, I that mean, was I can, a lot. I can show you the sew shop where we make the magic happen. Um, oh, yeah. it's, a little, it's a little messy with oh, magic. Oh, check this out. <laughs> yeah. So um, the magic has exploded a little bit on the table, but um, this is this is the sew shop. Magic can be messy yeah. sometimes. Um, this is uh, Chalinski be like, you showed them the sew shop, just like that. Um, and then she's like, you mocked me. Um, this is. Well, we're gonna have to edit that part out. That out. Just take that out. <clears throat> I love you, Jalen. Uh, this is where we have bits of fabric stored. Um, as you can see, every zipper possible. Um, there's all kinds of little things here. This is the notions section. We've got the elastic to fix the elastic on the shirts and the little hooks when the hook and eyes break on the um, dresses and things. So this is where we repair things. This is where we make new things. Um, clearly also messes. <laughs> um, and we alter things here too. So our customers will come in and if it doesn't quite fit right, we usually can uh, adjust it to fit them better. Um, so we do that here. That's all happening here. All right. And, and are you a seamstress? I am. Um, I actually started working in the sew shop. That's where I started. And then I ended up pulling a show randomly one day. And Jelena was like, yeah, you're pretty good at this. Why don't you pull these shows, too? Um, so I ended up being the show puller kind of person. Um, I kind of do a little bit of everything now. If they need me in the sew shop, I'm in the sew shop. I pull shows. I help up front. The ladies up front sometimes get overwhelmed, especially at Halloween. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of everything. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Wedding dresses hiding back there. Wedding dresses? Yep. 
Yeah, we have we've had brides come in before um, for actual weddings, yeah, for not actual for a show. Weddings. Yes, for actual weddings. Um, a lot of times it's because they're doing something a little more period, like they're doing a themed wedding. Um, but we've had a couple. We do have more modern dresses. Um, we get, like I said, donations. So we have some really nice stuff. And I've had brides come in and um, want to take the dress and just be like, oh, well, I'm going to add some flowers on the top. And we do allow our customers to do that as long as they basically return it to how it was before. So if they just attach very simply, they can then take it off. We're pretty, we're pretty nice about that sort of thing. Like, I don't know how other costume shops are, but I know that we've had people tell us how nice it is that we're pretty understanding. We're like, you know, yeah, sure, you can add that on as long as it doesn't damage the item. Go for it. You know, we're not like, <gasps> no, <laughs> don't touch it. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. We do have, we've worked with brides before and, and full-on wedding parties, actually, too. Um, we did a steampunk wedding. It's all about the steampunk right now. Um, a couple, I think it was a year and a half ago, summer, year and a half ago, I think. It was really very cool. So no Nazi weddings, though. No, not yet. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> we'd have to probably be like, eh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the kibosh on that. I'm gonna have to say no. That's about it. That's it, as if that's not enough. Uh, moving right along. Yes. So, do you think you could help us? Um, I'd like to try on some costumes. You think you can pick out a couple for us? I, I, I'm thinking we're out right now. I feel like they're all gone, but I mean, if we can find one, maybe I suppose I could help you. <laughs> Um, what are you looking for? I don't know. Well, Laura, thank you so much for spending so much time with us today and showing us around. Not a problem. Thanks for coming in. Can you give us the information one more time for All Dressed Up? It's All Dressed Up Costumes in Batavia, Illinois. That's 901 North Batavia Avenue. We are in the historical Campana building, so it kind of looks a little abandoned, but we are in there. <laughs> On the second floor. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Were you a good girl this year? I think I was. I got this fabulous hat, so I feel like I was. <laughs> well, then I will see you on Christmas Eve. Oh, goody. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, a little, I can't. A little bit of the wig hair in there. All right. We're done.